Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you could strum through a Bob Marley song called Exodus. And most of this is around an A minor chord. And the way you play A minor, first finger gives the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the G string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now through the song though, it's almost kind of sneaky and you can even kind of, kind of work some, some downs on that if you wanted to and kind of take your right hand and if you take the flat of the right hand and kind of lay it down on top of your saddle, you can kind of get a muted quality out of the strings. So you may want to think about parts where you just kind of work that idea. And there's this cool little guitar melody that kind of comes out around that where you play the B string, G string, B string, G string, and then the B string twice and then back to the G string, and then go to open G, and then first fret on the G, and then second fret on the G. So you're going one, two, one, two, one, one, two, oh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, oh, one, two, if you want to kind of kind of work that. Or you could even kind of try and bring out that melody around the chord. So with the downs, that might be kind of a cool way to kind of work it. through the song though a lot of times with a song like this to make it more interesting I like using something called a strum pattern and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down down up up down up so if you took the A minor and just tried that a lot you'd have down down up up down up down 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 up up down up 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 down up something else you could do is you could kind of add basis to that too. And on the A minor, you'd have the A string for your bass. So you do it as kind of a bass down, up, up, down, up as well. Bass down, up, down, up, bass down, up, up, down, up, down, up, bass down, up, down, up, bass down, up, down, up. Now, especially in the chorus, there's some moments where there's this cool little bass run. And if you wanted to kind of follow that, you could play open A, second fret on the A, third fret on the A, and then open D, and then second on the A. Third foot on the low E string. So you'd be going O, two, three, O, two, three. And you could even kind of work that around the A minor. Kind of keeping my first finger down and kind of working that with the down. So you may want to kind of play around with kind of doubling that lick when it turns up. Now, if you're doing the strumming, you could also kind of follow that loop by using some different chords. And, and so that when we do that walk up, that O, two, three, you could think about that as a C major chord. And we play C major. First finger stays on the B string, first fret. Second finger on the D string, second fret. And third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. That sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we'd be going to a G major chord for that low E on the third fret. And we play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. So you can kind of work it with the down, down, up, up, down, up, and do a down, down, up on the C, down, down, up on the G to match those two licks. So you could have A minor, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, down, up, G, down, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, down, up, G, down. You could throw in bass notes for that too, and the C would have an A string for the bass, and the G would have the low E for the bass. So if we're going to try that with basses, we have A minor with an A bass, down up, up, down C with an A bass, down up G with low E bass, down up, A minor with an A bass, down up, up, down C with an A bass, down up G with low E bass, down up, A minor with an A bass, down up, up, down C with an A bass, down up, G with low E bass. Down, there's a couple spots where you actually kind of end up with that way. Some really cool trumpet parts through this part, and, and some, some of them actually kind of double that guitar part. So, if you wanted to match some of the trumpet licks, you could do second fret on the G, open G, second on the G, open G, second on the G, and then first fret on the G, on the B, second on the G, and then open G, first fret on the G, and then second on the G. It's kind of one of those licks that kind of turns up that two, oh, two, oh, two, one, two, oh, one, two. Too. Kind of like that guitar lick, and it's kind of like a, a little variation on that idea. 
And there's also another trumpet melody that turns up where you get a second on the G string, open B, first fret on the B, third fret on the B, and then open B, and then open G. So if you want to kind of match that, like, you have that two, oh, one, three, oh, oh, two, oh, one, three, oh, oh, and kind of play around with that too. Now another strum pattern I would think about through the song for myself is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the B, right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. So one, two, one, two. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the A minor, do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together, you know, down. You may want to half the strum pattern, the down, 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 up on the A minor, and then do the C with the down, down, up, and G with the down, down, up. So we're digging on that feel. You have A minor, down, down, C, down, down, G, down, 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 down,